Calibration is a critical one-time process that we go through when onboarding any new athlete into your team and facility. Calibration is critical in understanding the training load on each muscle. We go through calibration on the quads, hamstrings, and glutes through maximum voluntary contractions where we select the muscle on the left or right side that has the highest threshold and that sets our calibration levels in which our training load values are based upon. Calibration in total takes about three minutes, but we highly recommend a five minute warm up to make sure that we have ideal sensor contact when starting this calibration process. In order to calibrate, we must click the gear tab on the bottom right hand side of the app. As you can see, I have my core in my leggings and I'm just going to calibrate this one garment at this time. I click calibrate gear at the bottom of the app screen and it shows all lower body muscle groups. As you can see, I'm lightly squeezing my right quad and my right hamstring and those are lighting up, but they should be light blue, assuming that nothing is active at this time. In order to calibrate, we click start and we go through a five minute warm up which helps us have ideal sensor contact. We are going to skip the warm up as this particular athlete has already warmed up for 10 minutes on the bike beforehand. Clicking skip at the bottom takes us into a screen that allows us to start calibrating each muscle. We recommend calibrating each muscle by squeezing as a maximum voluntary contraction or having assistance through a manual muscle test for five to 10 seconds per muscle. As we hit start exercise, you will see the body view where the front of the body is on the left hand side of the screen and the left side of the phone is the left side of the body. I am first going to do the left side. So it will come into a knee extension and squeeze that left side as hard as possible for five seconds and relax and go through and squeeze the right side for five seconds and relax. When we are done calibrating through the maximum voluntary contraction with the assistance of a manual muscle test, we click finish exercise. Then we move on to calibrate the glutes. So I'm gonna click calibrate another muscle and here we are going to click start exercise again. We're gonna start with a left glute which will be on the left side of the phone. We are gonna come into a hip extension and squeeze, 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 encouraging the athlete to get that max contraction, relax, and come onto the right side, and again, repeat the process. We are gonna click finish exercise to calibrate the last muscle, which is the hamstring. Calibrate another muscle, hit start exercise. For the hamstrings, we've often found that Athletes have a hard time isolating the hamstrings, so we can recommend placing that left heel against the wall if you aren't doing a manual muscle test, and imagine that they're dragging their heels up the wall to squeeze that hamstring and isolate it. And relax, we will finish with the right hand side, and the right hamstring, squeeze, 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 and relax. At this point, we're going to finish the exercise and finish calibration.